so it's about quarter to two in the morning. Uh, I'm expecting a pretty cold night, so I've got me uh, Elmer Fudd hat on. I'm going to be getting under the bed here. We have a couple of dunas. Anyway, uh, it's a little bit isolated here. Yowie country, so if I don't come back, <laughs> look for some feathers. <laughs> Getting ready to uh, go up and just got to wait for a uh, defrost. I'll give her a bit of a helping hand. Now the road I've stopped. Look, you could probably get across if you want to, but hey, being by yourself, could be done, but hey. Gonna do it. I'm backing out. Bit, uh, a bit of a cheat, I guess. Because what happened is they said you could bring 12 items, I don't know. So well, I thought the one item I should bring is an entire van. And when you put everything inside the van, still regarded technically as one item. So I've got a van and I loaded everything in as much as I could. Sleeping in the van. That's how you do it. Don't go and sit out in the wilderness for two hundred thousand dollars. You're kidding me. And I'm not putting myself through torture or anything like that. I'm having a good time, doing it my way, none of these conditions, trying to find food, trying to fight off animals, looking to make fishing poles, no, I'm just going to the shops buying stuff, keeping the local economy going. Uh, how emotional it makes me feel and how I've always wanted to do this and I know that I'm a champion and I know that I can do everything I set my mind to, you know, it's, it's one of the things that makes one of these alone series people fair income is they just believe in themselves right and I've noticed a few of them on the first or the couple of series especially the Aussies you know they did talk it up quite a bit um, but I'm not I'm not going to do that I'm, I'm going through with this I'm going through this to the end and uh, after alone, the whole reason I've done this is to end up becoming a celebrity so I can end up on Dancing with the Stars. Anyway, I still got a win yet and I don't know what the others are doing. I just don't know. I don't know how many days are gone. I don't know how many is left. But I'm going to do it. I'm not only my family. But for all the future fans that I'm going to have, that are going to love me and worship me. And, you know, I can influence them to go and buy anything from, as in the, as in the old Rolling Stones, so, you know, how bright my shirts could be. And not smoke the same cigarettes, or well, these days vapes, than me. Uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, this is how you win a show like this. And, uh become an influencer in the world I'm serious I'm serious that's how it works I know how, I know how the world works these days you you got to play it people believe it uh, then more people believe it and everyone believes it that's how it works Monday influencer so they're casting me out here in the wilderness it's bleak cold wilderness here in not all alone it's up for me to survive but the first thing I thought I would prioritize I thought I'd prioritize shelter others prioritize food but my priority is shelter so as quick as I could I ripped this up so yeah I, I've knocked up this shelter She's a pretty humble little thing, put a, put a bit of a canopy up and then um, 
you know, I thought I'd just whack in a little electric barbie. Well, it's kind of electric barbie. The thing is, I wondered if it does rain and the barbies get taken out, then I'll revert it back to a sort of electric cooker. You know, same thing, trying to buy boil water in a gum boot and all that. But what about a jug? That'd help, wouldn't it? You know, those times when you've been out fishing all day and chasing worms and witchetty grubs and scratching around for vegetation to eat. Uh, sometimes you come back and you're just a bit buggered, so I thought, how about a quicker, quicker version with a microwave? And um, so, you know, like a fridge would be a, a good thing. And as you can see, you know, she's pretty bare in there, but I'll get something going. And then, uh, going down the lake there, it's a bit cold for the washing up. So I thought I'd put in a bit of a double sink, just in case it rains again. You know what, uh, being alone it's bloody tough, so I thought I'd better get the old Swiss Army knife out and kind of uh, rip up a bit of a table and a bench. So uh, anyway, like I said, I just prioritised uh, a little humble shelter. Um, I'm, I'm a bit worried though about, about this opening here. Right. Anyway, food, that's another one. That's Yeah, and look look what I prepared earlier. Hey, eh? <laughs> I prepared this a little bit earlier for my uh, Alone series. I'm not eating grubs and shrubs. I'm just loving it. And bloody hell. Now the battery's going to run out on the torch. I've been struggling without it, but you know what? Just go and get new batteries and replace them. That's all you gotta do. Let's put more batteries in. Why do it tough? Hello. Then there's the issue about having to dig a pit to go to the toilet. And uh, you know, jump in the freezing cold water to, to wash every couple of weeks. But uh, you know, all that sort of scratching your ass with bark and leaves. It's got to be something better than... So I thought I'd come up with this stuff. I've got like a bit of a bush shower going over there. Right? And I thought, well, why don't you have a sink to wash your hands with? Do it that way. And I thought that might be a better idea than going down and trying to wash your hands in a freezing cold lake from Tasmania. Um, and I thought, you know, it is, you did have COVID, but it was the COVID thing, so you better have, you know, something to clean yourself, because you pick up a lot of worms and shit from them wombats. Now, I think you're wondering, you're asking, when you're out alone in the wild, in the wilderness, you know, there is number ones and there is number twos. I'm not being, I'm not being sexist here, but I thought you're better off with a urinal. And then I thought, you know what? If the wind changes, right, and it rains, you better get into a second toilet, right? Just in case, you can never be sure. I'm a, I'm a perfectionist. It's just not enough out here, alone, struggling. I don't mean to be a bit of a hog, but I thought I'd better build five toilets, okay? So yeah, look, I don't know if I'm gonna last. I really don't know how. I don't know what the others are doing. I don't know how much, how many days they've been going. I don't know what sort of primitive conditions they've been under, but uh, I think I can last. I think I can get through this. I think, I really think I can win it. I need the money. Be, be so much, means so much, means so much to me. To win the money. You know, I'd probably buy a swag then with all that 200,000 bucks. This is the part in alone where you relate to 
how you're missing everyone and how you don't know if you can take it but you know the incentive of winning the money of getting that money to help my family out this is that part where you <laughs> start to <laughs> break up and <laughs> you sh that you're missing them <laughs> so much and they're, they're, they're the ones <laughs> getting me through but nah, I'm not like that <laughs> I'm like having a great time <sighs> I think I've used too much power tonight I better, better shut down Because the lights are off, you know, that's the part of the series where you got to whisper in the dark. Yeah, well, you know. So I'm just trying to do it my own way and not follow anyone else's path. Because it's all about doing it yourself, alone. Don't follow anyone else's path. Because you don't become an influencer by being influenced by someone else. Influences are individuals. Influences are the, their own man or woman, or trans, or uh, queer, or gay, or LGBTQ, ABCDFGHKYZ, K. You don't miss anyone out. Sorry, I didn't mean to offend. Uh, look, I'm going to put it down to psychosis from being alone for so long. You know, it does fuck with your head. Yeah, I've been waiting that long. It's ended up summer. And I keep waiting for the producers or someone to come up and go, mate, that's it, you've won, here's the money. You've killed it. I don't know what to do. What's that? Second cameraman that shouldn't exist? There is no competition. There's no money. I've done it all for nothing. No way. It's not about the money or the fame or the glory. It's about just doing it and getting out there alone and doing it for yourself. Okay. And your family and your friends and everyone else out there. Go out and do it alone. You'll love it. Yeah, no, look, gotta say, uh, uh, the emotion gets out, cum starts coming out on the dismantle. Reminiscence of uh, just how bloody tough it was out there. You know, and pretty much the main reason for that was was uh, running out of money to buy food. Otherwise, it wasn't my physical endurance that stopped me, mate. I'll tell you that. I could have kept going forever. You can use one signal. <laughs> <laughs> and not the other thing and then another thing I thought well what if it rains from that angle better knock up a second table <laughs> better knock up a second table yes <laughs> I don't know if it's big enough the conditions uh, and the weather could affect it so you know rain could get in listen to that wildlife you know trying to really tough it out in the alone series but you know what in my alone series i i said what the fuck who gives a rat's ass let's just go into the camp kitchen here <laughs> and the funny thing is same thing i thought what if it rains <laughs> i thought what if it rains <laughs> you know what did you have <laughs> i thought what do you have a sink you're wondering you know what I'm gonna say? <laughs> if the wind changes, right? And it rains. I just hope that my family and my friends just know how tough I'm doing it. <laughs> Lying down. It is cold, but I'm pretty warm. <laughs>
<laughs> here with my little Elmer Fudd hat on. Crying and emotional about trying to make it. Yeah. Um, bullshit. <laughs> I'm having a fucking good time by myself, right? I'm just trying to make you laugh.